So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about an alternator. This is a 3G alternator from my Fox Body Mustang. Now, the 3G is just the case size for all you who don't are familiar with it. Most Fox Bodies, I shouldn't say most, no, no Fox Bodies come with a 3G alternator. This is out of a 9495. It's a 130 amp alternator. So I put this in my car and uh, had it in there for probably three years. And all of a sudden it started sounding like a screech owl was in under my hood. Um, I thought it was a bearing, took it in, got tested. They told me the alternator was fine. So I've been having these issues, you know, and it's, it hasn't gone away. So I'm going to try replacing the voltage regulator. And I'm going to walk you guys through how to replace a voltage regulator on alternator. your alternator. Here is your voltage regulator. Now the new one, you can see, is a little different. Well, you'll see how it's different when I take it out. So this is my new one. The old one, I've got the, there's four bolts that hold it in. And there's another piece on the bottom of it that actually makes contact with the shaft of the alternator. So, you have to take both of those out, and then there's one piece you have to actually transfer over to the new piece. Let's see, there's just these four bolts here. They are a star bit. I'm using a T20 to get these out. I'm assuming your alternator may differ as far as the bolts go. So, you get this out. Then you can see there's this other part on the bottom. Now those make contact. You can see there's that one right there and that one right there. So when you screw those into this other piece, it makes contact with these two wires here. So this piece has to come off. You can see it's the same size screw. Just got to take this guy off here. A little bit of a long-winded screw. So these little guys come off, transferred onto the other one. It's a fairly easy process, and then the installation is a reverse. The only thing that's kind of tricky is getting these guys pushed back in here, and then sliding it down on the shaft to get it installed there. That's all there is to replacing the voltage regulator on a 3G alternator, though. Uh, if you've got any questions, place them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.